Hey, guys. Hey, Joe Chuck, smart. Joe, you can open the Great to be back on the court uh, with uh, our guys playing in front of our fans. Thought the crowd was great tonight. Uh, I told the guys before the game, uh, you know, we're not entitled to a uh, packed Siegel Center, uh, but we're certainly grateful for it, and it's something that we never want to uh, lose sight of. Uh, as for the game, I thought we did some good things. Uh, at times, we certainly have to get better on both ends of the floor. Way too many turnovers. I think that stuff will work itself out. Uh, the turnover uh, issue we had tonight. The most pressing uh, area for improvement uh, to us as coaches is we've got to really continue to work hard on our half-court defense, and uh, we will. Questions? Coach, thoughts on Briante, how he handled this sort of first point guard? Yeah, okay. I mean, he's, to be honest, played better than that in practice. Uh, and obviously, in practice, he's playing against pretty good competition. Uh, he, I told the guys at halftime and then after the game, we, we tried to hit too many home runs uh, tonight, not enough singles and doubles. That's typically what happens. Briante is so excited, our whole team was so excited. Uh, he's on a different level, though, in terms of you know your first time back playing. So uh, he had a really good assist to turnover ratio last year. I mean, tonight it ended up being 3-1. It's just the turnovers he had were loud. So he'll get better with that. Uh, he's just got to understand his role on our team is to run the team and uh, keep us solid on both ends of the floor. And then we've got a lot of different guys that can score, so he's got to get them the ball. Coach, Doug Brooks seems like he might be the rival around and tell you enthusiasm. Is that something he brings to the team quite a bit? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Doug, he's, uh, you know, every time he does, he scores or uh, something good happens for him, I, I got to smile because he's just, he's a really likable kid who, uh, you know, if you, uh, as a player, if you can be uh, really good in terms of natural instincts, um, but at the same time really not know anything about the details of how you're supposed to play, uh, that would be Doug. Uh, so the good thing is a lot of the stuff that he doesn't know, he can learn. And a lot of the stuff that he has going for him, the instincts he has, his ability to shoot and score, you can't learn. So uh, we're excited about him. We just got to keep getting him better. Coach, uh, you know, tonight Jordan Burgess had a couple of good plays and he was uh, shooting the ball pretty well. Um, do you ever get images of, of, of Bradford because he wears the same number? I know I do when I'm just watching from the um, not yet. I mean, tonight, first of all, just really happy to have Jordan and Mo playing tonight after they had to sit out for so long. Um, but he's just such a different player than Brad. Uh, you know, both very, very good players, and Jordan obviously is just getting started. But I thought he did a good job tonight. Had some terrific rebounds, led the break. Uh, I thought that, that trail three hit, that was Bradford Burgess-esque. Um, but I, I'm really excited about Jordan and, and uh, how good he can become moving forward. Ralph Brandenburg, Ralph Brandenburg didn't play in the second half. He's down sitting next to Bernante Weber. What's his status? He, uh, he's had a couple issues here in the uh, preseason with his back spasming and, and uh, tightening up, and that's what happened today at the latter part of the first half. So, uh, you know, we just we held him out in the second half. Was that just a precautionary thing? Or was it, was it no, I don't think he. I mean, it was it was pretty pretty tight. I don't think he could have played. Uh, now we, they could have probably worked harder to uh, get him loose, uh, but uh, it, it was not really worth it. And uh, you know, he had an issue like two weeks ago with his back. He missed actually missed a practice or two, uh, and then it got much better through some some uh, hard work with the trainer and. And, and, and through some medication. And Rob's just got to understand, even when it gets better, he still has to work at keeping his back loose. He's a type, Rob is, uh, 
he's athletically he's like a greyhound. I mean, his muscles are very taut, and and uh, you know he's not the most flexible guy. He's a, he's a sprinter. He's not a, a, a long distance guy. So uh, we got to make sure that you know any type of tweak with him it, it needs to be addressed because uh, obviously we want him out there. Coach, can you talk about what you think Mo's going to bring to the team defensively? He was credited with the two blocks today. Yeah, Mo's just kind of feeling his way around. But again, it's great to have him out there. It's great to see him playing. Uh, he's a guy that uh, he's very athletic, and, and he's obviously big and physical. So I can I think he can bring physicality, rebounding. He can block some shots. Uh, he, he's just going to learn his place in terms of what we do. Uh, but I'm excited about him because I think uh, obviously uh, he's a he's a weapon with his physicality. And as we get him to play with a higher motor, I think he can really help us. Doc, how much have you been able to learn with the secret game, secret scrimmage, and this exhibition as far as the new rules go, what you're able to do, what you're not able to do? Uh, you know what? The biggest thing, uh, well, I shouldn't say I've learned. I mean, it's only we've only had two. Uh, I, I'm a little worried that Game to game, there's going to be a lot of variability, which just means that we're going to have to adjust. Uh, in our, I think I'm allowed to talk about the scrimmage now. It's over. We scrimmaged, thir uh, we uh, we fouled 31 times in the first 40 minutes uh, of, of so in the 40 minute game that we played, we fouled 31 times. Well, tonight we fouled 14 times, and we pressed less tonight, but. I don't think we were half as aggressive as we were. So you're just going to have to adjust to the way the officials are calling it. Obviously, if there is foul trouble, uh, we've got to manage that through changing up defenses and through substitutions. But again, I don't know if I've so much learned that. I was kind of concerned about that. And if you look at the two outings we've had, that's, that's kind of borne out. Uh, in terms of adjusting, yeah. uh, I think not a huge learning curve. I think it's just the guys know the rules. So uh, we've really hammered those rules, you know, into their head in the preseason. So it's not a matter of learning the rules. It's a matter of playing aggressively in our style of play within the rules. And, uh, you know, I think our guys are, are learning that. Coach, how different will this week be? Prepping for real time uh, regular season action versus this past week prepping for next week? Uh, not a lot different. I think, you know, we're going to be preparing for a better team. I told the guys in the locker room afterward the, uh, the competition is going to incrementally get better, you know, but it's going to be a big step uh, between, you know, who we played tonight. It was a good Division II team. And Illinois State, who was a good, very good Division One team, um, but you know we'll practice Monday through Thursday. We'll, you know, do a scouting report. We'll do, we'll do uh, the same type of thing we've always done in terms of trying to understand personnel and and what's going to give us the best chance to be successful. So, uh, guys are really excited about tonight. I mean, they're going to be excited about Friday, uh, but you know we. Those guys were really chomping at the bit to play tonight, so I think it'll be similar. Any other questions? Thanks, Coach. Thank you.